Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, bros. So as you guys know, I'm like the WhatsApp number one supplier. I'm like the biggest WhatsApp fan. <laughs> no, I'm totally joking. I barely ever use it, but I figured I did like top Snapchat tricks and tips and top Instagram tips and tricks. And I think I've done like Twitter probably at some point. So I figured I might as well do another one that's a, a huge social media app that a lot of people use, you know, which is WhatsApp, you know. Not only people within my native country, America, but also countries outside of America. You know, this is huge, huge, huge app. And in a lot of places, I think WhatsApp is bigger than Snapchat and even Instagram. So even though Facebook owns WhatsApp and Facebook owns Instagram, all that, but this isn't going to be too crazy. I think a lot, some of these you guys might know, but some of them are also interesting as well. So just jumping right into it. One of the fascinating ones, actually, like it mind boggled me. It like totally changed my life. Is actually bolding certain things of your text. So as you can see, that's actually bolded. And what you can do actually, so let's say you want to say, hey, what up? You can actually go, if you want to bold the next word, all you have to do is put an asterisk in. You can say, man, or whatever the case you want to say. Go ahead and click here, click bold, that's it. And as you can see, that'll automatically bold in the text. And you can go ahead and click send. And as you can see, it'll go ahead and bold the word man. And it already sent to my note 10 actually. And you can see it goes through and everything is fine. And that's actually super, super cool. Some of you guys might know that, some of you guys might not, but now you guys know. And you guys also might be looking at this photo right here and you might be like, how the heck did you draw on it? How the heck did you do all that? Well, actually it's super easy. Obviously, as you guys know, you want to click the camera icon right there and you just want to take a photo of something. So you can just take a photo of that or whatever the case is. And from here, pretty much it's almost exactly like Snapchat or even Instagram stories in my opinion. You can swipe up to get some more filters. You can change whatever you want to. So let's say you want the pro or whatever this one's called pop. You can go and have that in. But what you can also do is go ahead and draw on it if you want to. You can say, hey, look at this thing. Look at this thing. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this specific one, but a lot of you guys might not either. And you can go ahead and click emojis. Go ahead and add whatever you want to. Go ahead and add the sticker. Be cool. All right. And you can go ahead and send this in that WhatsApp group chat or whatever, in that WhatsApp chat. And so you can see, I mean, that looks kind of different, but you guys kind of get the idea. I think that's a really cool one that a lot of people probably don't even know about, which is surprising. Now showing love to my Android counterparts, another huge thing that a lot of you guys might not even notice is that WhatsApp takes up a lot of not only data, but storage on your device as well. And you know, I'm talking about mobile data when I talk about that. So a huge thing you can do is just go ahead and turn off some certain things here and there to actually, you know, optimize the amount of data and storage that you have on your device. So what you want to do is you want to go into settings, you want to go ahead and click data and storage. And what you can do, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but media auto download, the best thing to do is to turn off these as many as possible. So what I like doing is turning on low data usage. So that'll reduce the data, you know, when you're obviously calling somebody. And as you can see, when using mobile data, it'll auto download only photos. You want to make sure the other ones are turned off. Audio really isn't that bad, but videos, you definitely want to not auto download those because that'll take up a ton of storage. I know so many people who have like, you know, like 256 gig phones, but they run out of data all the time because so many people are sending them videos on WhatsApp. So that is a humongous thing right there and a humongous way to, you know, preserve as much storage on your device as you can. Now you might be looking at the stickers right here and you might be like, wait, how the heck did you even put stickers? How the heck did you even get stickers on WhatsApp? And that's actually pretty easy. As you can see right here, there's a little like sticker icon on that side of that chat. All you wanna do is go ahead and click that and you'll see some built-in sticker sets that you already have. As you can see these coffee mug things and this one is actually one I downloaded. But if you don't know, you can actually download them straight through this thing. All you wanna do is go ahead and click that plus icon right there and you'll get into somewhat of like a mobile store, I guess that's the best way I can put it, of all these different sticker packs now a lot of you guys probably won't even care about these but some of you might and honestly dude i'll be honest some of them are kind of cute bro like look at some of these dogs man that is definitely worth 600 kilobytes so we're going to go ahead and download that I'm going to hop out of this and as you can see we now have the dogs somewhere and now we have the dogs all right that's what's up so if i want to send this sticker out i can go ahead and send this one i can send this one i can send this one i can send all of them and it kind of in my opinion breaks the ice sometimes if there's nothing to talk about, you can go ahead and just send these and kind of, you know, if there's an awkward moment here and there, you know, go ahead and send that. Like, I'm about to send one right now to one of you guys, actually. And it's funny because my phone vibrates every single time that I send one. I think it's about to vibrate. Now, this next thing is also something you guys probably already know, but with a little bit of a twist. So, as you guys know, you can send audio by just holding down this button and you can talk, hey, what's up, whatever, whatever. But if you want to cancel it, you can go ahead and cancel right there. And it actually has a really cool animation. But the thing you can actually do is that once you're holding it down, you can actually swipe up to lock it. As you can see, now it's locked. Now I can do whatever. I can talk. I can hold something else if I need to. As you can see, it's still recording. If I want to, I can go and click cancel. And as you can see, I actually sent it, but I messed up. But you can go and keep doing it. You can go and swipe up, lock it, whatever you need to do. Go and click cancel. And I'll go and cancel it there if you need to. But that's a really cool thing that a lot of people, like I said, they don't really know that. 
Now ending it off with my beloved Android device. As you guys know on WhatsApp when you read something usually it notifies the other person that you read it. In my opinion I never found that to be a good thing. I always found it to be a bad thing. There's no benefit by having it enabled. So if you guys don't know you can actually dis disable it by going into settings on WhatsApp, clicking account, then clicking on privacy up here, then scrolling down or just right there where it says read receipts. If turned off you won't or whatever so I go ahead and turn that off because I don't want people being able to see when, when I see it their things or whatever. I always found like I said there never to be any benefit by having it enabled and so you can go ahead and disable it by going into the settings right there and really that's pretty much it you know those are a couple little t tricks tips whatever so far that we have in the latest 2019 version of whatsapp as of me recording this video these are the tips if there's any more that I find or any cool ones I'll go ahead and make another video talking about that but that is pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.